Hi and welcome to the fourth section in which we are going to look at cost control. Again, very important for any organization. Every organization looks towards controlling costs, whether it be for their on-premise architecture or even in AWS. So let's look at our first video, which is AWS costing. Now, there are many important factors that you have to consider when looking at costing for AWS. First thing is the costing aspect depends on the type of service you are using. So don't assume that all services have the same costing aspect. For example, if you are spinning up an EC2 instance, that's a compute model, then the cost differs a lot on the instance type. So if you choose a higher instance type, which has more CPU and more RAM and more features allocated to it, then obviously you will be paying more. When you look at instance storage or your EBS volumes, this depends upon the volume type and the amount of storage. When you are looking at the AWS relation database service, you have to consider the instance type, the storage and its features. You also have to understand that the cost differ per region. So all regions have different costing for the AWS services. Now, if you're an organization that's looking to moving towards AWS, and if you want to get an understanding of how much it would cost to host something in AWS, then you can use something known as a monthly calculator. So this is a tool which is available with AWS. This gives you an approximate costing of what you want to host in AWS. Here you can choose from different types of resources and then see the costing that you would incur on a monthly basis. Once you are hosting your services in AWS, there is a tool known as the Cost Explorer. So the Cost Explorer will give you different aspects. So firstly, it will give you the cost till date. Next, you can also see the cost breakdown per service, you can also view the entire cost history. You can also see a forecast of the costs you might incur. You can also see costs based on various filters. And it also can give you recommendations for using reserve instances. So there are a lot of aspects that are there for you when using the AWS Cost Explorer. Now let's go on and just look at some of these aspects which you have just seen in the slides. So here I am in the AWS documentation page. Now currently I'm just looking at the pricing for Amazon EC2. So you have different pricing for the on-demand and spot instances. Again, we'll go through spot instances a little bit later on. So let me go on to the see on-demand pricing page. So the important aspect that I want to show you is obviously first that the pricing differs based on the instance type, but it also differs based on the region. So if I choose the Singapore region, you will see that the costing is different. So when you're looking at the costing aspect for your virtual servers on the cloud, always ensure that you take the region into consideration as well. Now I mentioned that Amazon has a simple monthly calculator that can be used to see what is the indicative cost of resources when you go on to AWS. So over here, you have a collection of services on the left hand side. Now, let's say that you want to have an Amazon EC2 instance in place. So you can click on add row. So you can give a description. So I'll give a description of a web server and then you can choose the type of instance. So let's say it's an a1.xlarge. Close and save. Now you can see that the estimate of your monthly bill is come over here. So in the monthly bill, it will tell you all the expenses that you would incur based on what you choose in this calculator. So this will automatically calculate all the cost. Now you can, apart from the Amazon EC2 instance, you can also add a row for an EBS volume. So again, you can give a name, you can give the amount of storage if you want a different volume type and accordingly your monthly bill will change. So now you will have your monthly bill, which will have not only the EC2 instance, but also your EBS volume. So the simple monthly calculator is very good 
if you want to get an indicative on the prices you will pay when you move on to AWS. And when you are on AWS itself, if you go to your account and if you go on to my billing dashboard, so here in the dashboard itself, you'll get your costs up to date. You will get your forecast for the month. So this is good. This will show you what would be your likely cost expenditure at the end of the month. It will give you then the cost per resource over here. If you want, you can go on to the bill details. And here you will see all the charges based on the different services that you are using in AWS. Now you can go on to the cost explorer, launch a cost explorer. And the cost explorer will give you even more details. It will give you the trends, the recommendation, the usage of your virtual servers. So a lot of detailed aspects for your costs can be seen in the AWS Cost Explorer. So these are the different ways you can look at costing in AWS.